it would be a neat idea to actually uh, film a blog on the way, make use of my idle time on the way to work. Now, I don't anticipate this being a, a regular thing, but I think it's more of like a, um, more of like a filler, uh, like material. That's, e that's easy for me to film or easier than my normal blog and um, something that I can just post to keep uh, those keen people who are happy who just can't get enough of the actual blog and I figured it'd be a good way to um, have more uh, of an off-the-cuff uh, feel to my blog as I as I promote and as I originally intended uh, as you know my regular blogs are um, they are uh, off the cuff, they, they don't have a script at all, but they are, um, I do at least put a little bit of thought into them, and I do film them typically uh, segment by segment where I stop, start, and that gives me a chance to uh, think about what I'm going to say in the next couple of seconds in the next segment, and you know, it just gives me a chance to um, edit the thing when it's finished, and it's a bit more polished. But it's so I thought this this will be a single um, my drive to work is about 30 minutes or so so this should be about a single 30 minute unedited I won't edit this at all um, a single 30 minute episode so you can see what I'm like in just off the cuff I guess get through the lights here and we're on our way the tripod's holding together and I have no idea if the sound is going to work or not uh, if it's going to be too loud, so we'll find out. I guess if this concept is any good, you uh, if it's any good, you'll see it. If it's no good, I just won't <laughs> post it at all. And well, I'm just talking to myself, and people think I'm weird, I guess. But uh, everyone talks themselves in the car these days with mobile phones and things like that. So um, yeah, so this will be about 30 minutes. So those of you who think the video is kind of pointless in this well you can stick your headphones on and and uh, turn the video off while you're at work and just listen to my um, <clears throat> my calming soothing professional <laughs> Australian whiny accent yeah right uh, I get a lot of complaints about the about the voice <coughs> you have to excuse me I'm actually getting over a a flu I got in the middle of summer go figure I hardly get a flu in winter time let alone summertime and uh, so that was a bit bit weird and I'll probably need a drink on the way too because if I talk continuously for half an hour my voice could get a bit froggy but uh, so there you go so um, basically this episode is not really going to be about electronics I think it's um I'll just do it as an update blog because I don't do many update blogs recently because I, I think they're a bit of wasted space but this could be a neat way to do it for those who want um, just you know me off the cuff just talking about either electronics or the blog or just you know anything in general really uh, if you enjoy that sort of thing if you don't I guess you can not watch these car driving episodes but I want some feedback whether or not this is a good idea I value all the feedback I get on the blog and uh, I, I really want to know, you know, do you like it? If there's enough people who actually like just listening to me for half an hour, you know, just rattle off anything on my mind, then uh, I'll continue to do it. And those who don't like it, I guess, can tune out. Well, that's the thing. There's one thing I've learned with this blog over the years. Well, years? God, makes it sound like I've been doing it forever. Nine months or ten months or whatever I've been doing it is that you can't please everyone in fact you can't even please a minority of people oh first stop at the lights so hello I think I can I can't really see the screen here but I'm sure I'm in frame and uh, everything's working I hope anyway and if you can see the background that's the Bull and Bush Hotel I think it is and um, anyway where was I my short attention span there you go it gets me every time it gets worse as I get older I think this short attention span um, yes I was uh, talking about this will be an update blog and there's one bit of big well it was big to me anyway news I wanted 
to share is that I got my 1,000th YouTube subscriber. Whoa! Couldn't believe it. 1,000 people have subscribed to me via my YouTube channel. And that's a big, uh, that's a big milestone for me, really, because um, yeah, that's like an order of magnitude or more more than I ever thought that I'd get with this silly blog idea when I first started it. And if you remember when I first started it, it was, you know, it was a heap of crap. It, well, you can argue it still is a heap of crap and there's, I don't put much effort into it, but I can't believe that there's this many people. Uh, now I've had a thousand odd uh, people, a thousand odd regular viewers for a long time now. Um, probably, oh, four or five months maybe um, but uh, the fact is is that that milestone on YouTube was was kind of important to me because uh, my YouTube subscribers because I kind of think of this as mainly a I well it's not really a YouTube blog but um, I host it on YouTube and that's where I get my metric from really when I compare it to other blogs uh, now on my WordPress blog website eevblog.com uh, I've got through a Google thing which is FeedBurner which hosts my RSS feed I, uh, I've got about, it tells me I've got about 1500 regular subscribers via the website and via the RSS feed. Now if you add that onto the 1000 from YouTube, 1000 subscribers, that's uh, 2500 regular viewers and that um, and the stats seem to uh, to actually reflect that. So two and a half thousand regular people who listen to me rant on once or twice a week is really unbelievably remarkable. I'm on the M2 motorway now if you know Sydney so this should be a smooth ride for about 15 minutes or so apart from those bumps which you probably just saw. Now this is actually a toll motorway in Sydney. I pay about five dollars each way um, to and from work. Now that's not unusual for Sydney. Some people actually pay uh, three tolls, um, three or even sometimes four tolls to and from work and it can be really expensive. But um, let's not go there shall we? I'm sure most people don't want to hear about how crap the uh, roads are and the, oh, the public transport system. Let's not go there anyway in Sydney. So back to the blog. Yeah, um, I, uh, <coughs> pardon me, yeah, so I figure this blog would be to fill in the gaps, really, I mean, um, I don't really want it to be a regular thing that, um, because I can't really, um, this is more of a stream of consciousness type thing, I can't really do an electronics blog, because I've put no thought into this at all, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk about electronics much on this blog, it'll be more like a water cooler rant kind of thing. And um, Now anyway, yeah, the big thing about YouTube is that uh, why I'm thrilled to get so many subscribers is um, what started out is, well, it still is, I do it because it's fun and I really love the um, just, you know, doing it and having so many people um, watch and, you know, watch what I do and care. And it's, it's really remarkable that, um, excuse me, i got to dash across here. <clears throat> and yeah, I find it really remarkable that people would want to um, watch me. From day one, I built up, I pretty quickly built up a, a core audience. And that was really amazing because it's, if you start up a video blog these days, it's really quite hard to build up an audience I think but I I deliberately did the video blog as I've said before I think I did it because everyone else out there has a text blog and text blogs are boring and video blogs they're, they're more of like a show and you you get to see the person you get to know the person and and you know you you get to like them more easier than just a text blog with somebody's photo up there which is just just crazy now the, the, there's actually um quite a lot of people who actually their full-time job is doing YouTube because they make so much money from the Google AdSense ads and um, and I do too if you see my ads they pop up 
over the video. There's two types, they pop up, well three types actually, they pop up over the video and uh, in YouTube. And there's ones that sit next to the video window on my YouTube channel and then also on my site I've got um, Google AdSense ads as well. They're actually uh, text ads down the bottom of the video. And I do actually make a reasonable amount of money from these ads. It really is quite remarkable. I've been doing it for quite some time with my regular websites which have uh, Google text ads on them and my blogs um, generating a similar sort of revenue to those other sites but those other sites I don't actually have to do anything they just they're just static web pages I've had up there for donkey's years and they just generate revenue so this blog I'm putting a lot of well a reasonable amount of effort into this blog and I'm getting a similar sort of revenue but um, it's growing really quick uh, it was a thousand subscribers to YouTube. This was only a couple of days ago. Now I think it's up to a thousand and fifty or a thousand and sixty. So I'm getting like, uh, you know, a dozen or more or fifteen people subscribing per day now. It, I, I don't know where they're coming from, but it, it really it, it seems to be on an exponential type ramp. I think. Um, so hopefully that continues. Really, because uh, I'd love to get that many subscribers now. There's, um, as I said, there's quite a few people out there making a full-time living from this YouTube gig. And they've got, typically they've got in the order of a couple of hundred thousand subscribers. And God, you know, I, I didn't think I'd get a couple of dozen, let alone, uh, let alone a couple of thousand that I've got now, let alone a hundred thousand. But I'm sure I'm not capable of that. But I do know this video blogger who I, who I stole this driving idea from because I thought it'd be quite neat. He's thinking about giving, he's contemplating giving up his uh, day job within the next year or so if his uh, YouTube subscribers, well we're going through the M2 tunnel now, and uh, if his YouTube subscribers continue to grow at this rate, he thinks he can take a pay cut and do it as a full-time gig. And he's got in the order of, I think, 15 or 17,000 viewers or something, subscribers or something like that. So. Really, um, that's quite remarkable. Good on him. Good luck to him. Jeez, I, uh, you know, I can, at the current rate, I can probably see myself getting in the order of 10,000 regular viewers, I, I hope, in the coming years. And that would be, that would be absolutely awesome. Because um, I don't really know where I want to take this blog. It's been a real huge surprise to me. Uh, I started it off just as a just a fun little thing. I thought it'd die out after a couple of episodes. So did my wife actually. She just rolled her eyes and said, "What am I wasting my time on this rubbish for?" But it really has taken off, and I re really want to thank everyone, every one of my regular viewers who subscribes, because you're the ones who actually make it worthwhile. Particularly my wife's eyes now. She can actually see that it's. It could actually lead somewhere. Um, not only would it be good for my career, I guess, my um, industry uh, rep kind of thing, but um, yeah, she can, you know, it does make a little bit of money for me, so it's sort of self sustaining from the money aspect. And really, those, those Google ads, um, by the way, in case you don't know, uh, I make anywhere from a couple of cents, you know, five cents or something up to, in some cases I've seen, quite a few times, over two dollars per click. Bing! That's the M2 made away just charging me my five dollars. And thank you very much. Privately funded bloody roads, it's ridiculous. What do we pay taxes for? Oh, let me, oh, no, I won't, I won't do a rant. I won't rant on the, how the New South Wales state government has absolutely screwed up every, um, not only public transport, but all this private transport infrastructure in Sydney. Oh, I'm actually this close to doing a, a documentary on the incompetent New South Wales government and how they've, and their short-sightedness of how they've screwed everything up. But anyway, uh, I, know, I won't start a rant there. Now, um, yeah, these ads, like, uh, up to $2 per click. Can you believe it? And, and that's my cut. That's what I get in my bank account. Now, um, I, I don't know what Google are getting. They're, they're obviously getting at least that. Otherwise, it would be a bit silly. So, these companies, some of these companies are paying 
and could be paying in the order of five dollars per click to get somebody to click on their ad and it's just unbelievable and, and we're not talking big businesses here we're talking niche you know electronics uh you know keywords it's based on keywords and you know keywords like pcb or electronics or test equipment test equipment or something like that and uh, it really is really is quite amazing that people would actually pay that much oh. so anyway ads are good trust me if you like an ad you know what to do because uh, really it's um it's terrific somebody actually uh, I actually had a company it was an ad company email me last week or a couple of weeks back and they wanted to know if uh, some a company who manufactures um, cases uh, little electronics projects cases would like to advertise on my website sure I said no worries you know I gave them my stats of how many um, people you know who regularly visit the site there's about two and a half in case you want to know there's about two and a half thousand regular visits per day to eevblog.com and that doesn't include bots I believe I think that only counts humans somehow anyway I gave them all my stats and and based on the uh, based on industry um, standard sort of rough industry standard figures for uh, advertising impression rates my website um, in theory is actually worth about I think it's about seven or eight hundred dollars per month for advertising space I, I don't have any advertisers on there yet that actually pay me directly per impression I only use Google AdSense but um, uh, yeah I, that's what it's worth in industry terms and this guy offered me um, oh, what was it uh, $30 a month or something like that and I just uh, this was an advertising company it was trying to rort me trying to um, uh, you know trying to rip me off and try and he, he would have charged his client this project case company I'm sure he would have charged hundreds of dollars per month and only give me like you know thirty dollars per month <laughs> bugger off anyway um, yeah that was the end of that I really gave him a serve but um, other things I guess what can I talk about um, updates um, I've got uh, Agilent are going to send me two more multimeters for a review because they like my other review even though I slagged them off internally apparently it did the rounds in Agilent and um, they they do like the way I do my blogs so um, yeah they're going to send me two more meters the uh, the new B version of the OLED one and the I think it's the U1241 which is a low-cost LCD version uh, but the good news about this is that they're gonna let me destroy them they're gonna let me have my way with these multimeters so oh um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but uh, it could be fun it'll it'll break my heart I think to to drop and smash these meters but they've given me permission to do it so well I think I'm gonna have to go through with it anyway that'll be fun and uh, so hopefully they come through on that and also fluke are supposedly when they get one because they're it's a brand new product of the new fluke 28 meter which is the world's toughest waterproof multimeter and uh, I've got an idea for the blog for that one they're also going to let me beat the crap out of it so I've got a really good idea of what I'm going to do there so hopefully that comes off and hopefully fluke come through because fluke also like my blogs they they love them um, so Fluke, Agilent and the German company Gossen um, can really see the value in my blogs and my independent reviews and my outspoken, uh, you know, I, I say what I think and they can really see the value in the audience that I can reach even at this stage in the blog when I've only got a couple of thousand regulars really and, you know, a, a good... A, a good product review might get, if it gets linked somewhere else, might get 5,000 hits or something like that in the first couple of months. But yeah, they, they realise the audience, potential audience I can reach. So they're, they're, they're keen to have me do stuff. And I find that quite amazing because I, I slag them off. And well, they, they seem to not mind it at all. I find that really remarkable that um, most big businesses, I've worked in big companies and they love to cover their ass and they won't want to hear independent opinion and you know 
but for some reason, um, there's people within these big test equipment organisations who like what I do, so that's fantastic. Now, um, a, a couple of other updates, I guess, is that um, I'm, I'm really trying to fix the sound and the two big things in my blog which, I, which really continually bug me are the sound and the lighting. Now, the sound, I've just got myself a new um, Rode shotgun video mic and um, it's a real, real pro bit of kit. I mean, it's low cost, but it's real professional quality, designed and manufactured in Australia by one of the biggest microphone manufacturers in the world. And it's really, um, I had a crappy J-Car shotgun mic before that, and it was, it, it, it was okay. It was, you know, it was pretty good, but this new Rode one, I think, is almost too good. It picks up every uh, echo and every subtlety in my lab. Now, I've been thinking about actually adding those um, acoustic tiles to my lab. Um, actually, well, on the wall behind the camera at least, so I can, uh, you know, so I can help stop the reflections that come back and improve the sound quality a bit. So, um, uh, but they're expensive, these acoustic tiles, even wholesale, so I might try a couple of blankets first or something, and if it, like, you know, drops the echoes by, you know, 6 or 12 dB or something, I might think about getting those acoustic tiles. So I'll do some experiments on that soon, I think. And the thing that's bugged me from day one is the lighting in my lab. I've got two of those strip fluoro, you know, 30 watt fluoro light tubes, and they're just horrible. The camera can't cope with the white balance properly, and it's, it's all over the place. It's really, really, and the shadows are awful. So I really do despise the lighting in my lab but I've been too lazy to really do anything about it um, but I've I've bought some more of those uh, Cree XPG LEDs like I used in a previous blog to light up my outdoor uh, deck and they're really fantastic and I'm gonna try and um, experiment with those in my lab to completely replace the strip fluoro lights and that should be much much better hopefully I'll, I'll actually bounce the lights off the white painted walls and, and, and the roof and see if it I can get enough even distributed light to improve my video quality. So maybe I'll do something on that in the coming weeks and I'll, I'll of course do a blog on it probably if it, uh, if it works. So oh, what else have we got now? <coughs> Pardon me, my voice is getting froggy. I need a, I need a drink. I'm talking too much. But uh, this is me. I like to talk and well, I hope you're enjoying the off the cuff, uh, really off the cuff, because this won't be one continuous 30 minute episode. I'm not too far from work now, but um, other things, um, oh, email. I'm, I'm constantly getting, I'm really getting bombarded with email these days, and uh, man, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm finding it hard to cope actually, because people send me all these emails oh it's not a, you know I love the blog and everything and they they say they love it and then they go on with you know they've got 20 questions about some you know especially from beginners you know I, I've always loved getting questions from beginners and I still do and I do my best effort to answer them but it takes a lot of time and um, often I want an answer on something that uh, you know I do know something about but I can't answer off the top of my head so I've got to go and search Google and you know or, or do something else or you know just just to answer their question I feel compelled to do it because they like the blog and you know I love answering questions and helping people out but yeah it's getting it's almost getting too much now and then there's the other people who want to have conversations with me via email and talk about their projects and oh well you know look I do my best but oh geez you know <laughs> um, it's just getting to a point where it's getting too much. And then I also get email via uh, via via YouTube. They, they send a message via YouTube, and I hate getting messages via YouTube. Please do not send me a message via YouTube, because I, I get an email alert that I've got a message, and there's no text in there. I can't read it in my email inbox. I've got to go to the YouTube website, log in to my message box in there, and then answer it from there, and it's... It's hopeless. I hate it. So please, if you're going to send me 
a message or an email, um, please do it via my the email address on my eevblog.com website. Because a, a lot of people, these 1,050 people who subscribe via my YouTube site, they're, um, a lot of them just will not know that I've actually my main blog is at eevblog.com it's not just a youtube show it's it's actually done i do most of my stuff um and especially the forum of course hi to all my forum users i can't believe my forum's taken off that's oh somebody suggested i i put one up and i did it quite a few months ago now and i couldn't believe it within like a day of putting it up there were like 30 users and 50 messages and it's fantastic the blog has turned into this um, general electronics blog where people are doing community projects and um, chatting about all sorts of stuff answering beginner questions which is good so if you've got a beginner question post it on the forum don't necessarily send me a message so that um, that either I can answer you or somebody else can uh, answer you faster than I can because I get so many email messages I always can't keep up so if I don't reply to your email message I I apologize it's either um, it's either I didn't have the time and it's dropped off my it's usually you know it's dropped down my email inbox list and and it can get buried and um, it can get very quickly buried in there if I don't, don't answer within half a day or something like that so um, I do apologize if I don't if it's important and you want me to reply do send me another message because I may have you may have got uh, you may have got lost in my email inbox somewhere so we're almost to work here so we're almost at an end so I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that and do send me feedback if you think this is a good idea or not I won't do it all the time but I think it could be fun just to have a true off-the-cuff um, thing I won't, may not necessarily make it half an hour each time I know everyone's not gonna like it I can't please everyone so you know feel free to say oh it's a shit idea and things like that I I love getting feedback positive and negative so um, and I will will listen to feedback because I have shaped the blog over the years based on feedback if you notice when I started it was I didn't know what to do and I so I just threw in all sorts of things a review and a book or a product review book review industry news chip of the week whatever and, and that that quickly died that concept died based on user feedback because I realized that everyone wanted um, they all wanted to have like a specific dedicated episode to one thing and I found that was better on YouTube as well when people search for me you know they might search for you know fluke 87 as a search term and up pops my review of a fluke 87 and you know they don't want to sit through uh, half a blog of other crap to you know that, that they're not interested in to get to the meat of it so I think it's much better that I do these dedicated um, episodes and that's what I've done for a long time now and I'll continue to do that because it's the best best idea here I am at work swipe myself in well, there's RFID tag thingos, and we're going into the bowels of the building now, so it's almost over, so <coughs> it could be dark in here, so it may be hard to see me, but uh, thanks for listening if you've watched the whole 30 minutes. I hope you find it uh, rather interesting and, um, well, just seen me rant on for half an hour, and it might give you a different... Um, uh, aspect into what I'm actually like um, unedited so to speak because uh, normally you just see me um, quite heavily edited because I film individual segments and uh, it's much different than this just 30 minute truly off-the-cuff rant so there you go I'm almost at my parking spot and Please leave me your feedback about whether or not this is an absolute crap idea or whether there's something in it and you would like me to continue because just remember some people may actually like the idea um, and those who hate it well they can just ignore it just like all my other blogs you know 
you're not compelled to watch every one of my episodes. So, um, yeah, leave me your feedback, and I'm headed to work. See ya.